Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, I'm going to discuss some very quick tips about some of the very important topics from which there are chances that you can expect the related questions in the exam. So now let's quickly start the discussion and let me just quickly tell you about all these points. So guys, here I'm going to talk about the different states like triplet states, singlet state and doublet states. So what will be the possible cases or how the fermions or the electrons can be present there in those states or what will be the conditions we need to check how we can proceed to solve the questions. So guys, after watching this video till the end, you will get to know about each and everything very clearly. And in any question, if you will get the concepts related to these points or something mentioned related to these points in the question itself, you will be able to understand it well and accordingly you will be able to follow the steps to get the right answer. In December 2019, that means in the last exam, we had the question based on these points. So after this video, I will provide you the question which was related to quantum mechanics but also related to these points. Clear? So after this video, you will also get that question discussion so that everything you will be able to relate easily and you will be able to get. Okay, now guys, let's talk about it. So basically, anytime, let's say I am taking the case of two fermions in this case. So fermions means what? They will follow the Fermi Dirac statistics. Okay, or they will follow the Pauli's exclusion principle. Then, so now the point is, when we are talking about triplet state, so guys, here we need to check the multiplicity. And multiplicity generally we consider in the atomic and molecular physics. But here also, to get this concept clearly, we need to relate it with the multiplicity, which is 2s plus 1, where s is the spin. Clear? So when I am saying triplet state, that means... 2s plus 1 should be equal to 3 and when it is, it is equal to 3, from here I will get the total spin s is equal to 1. Clear? 2s plus 1 represents the multiplicity and for triplet it will be 3, for doublet it will be 2 and for singlet it will be 1. But from here, after equating them with 1, with 2 and with 3, we get to know about the spin. So spin is 1 in this case. And what are the possibilities in how many ways we can arrange two fermions in different states or in the given state so that we will get the triplet state. Okay, so guys in this case either both the fermions can be in up state like with up spin. Okay, so you can see two fermions I have made uh, like the particles I have shown here along with their spins. Clear? So it's going to be the spin for first one and a spin for another one. Clear? And I have considered them in different states. Why? Because these are fermions and we can't keep two fermions having the same spin in one particular state. Clear? That's why we have to write them in such a way. And now total spin for this system will be 1. Clear? Half plus half, that's going to be 1. Clear? And that's what we wanted. The next thing. Or the case can be that both the fermions can be present in this way. Okay, so down is spin. Then, but for both the states, it will remain same because our overall spin should be 1 for the system. Or after arranging these fermions in any of the manner which I have shown here, total spin of the system will remain 1. Clear? Next. For singlet state, 2s plus 1 should be equal to 1, which means s, that means spin should be equal to 0. When spin is 0 in that case, either in one particular state, both the fermions can be there, but with opposite spins. Clear? So in that case, one is up, another one is down, and total spin, 0. Or there can be the other case, which is excited singlet state. So in that case, one kind of spin fermion will be in the excited state, and another with opposite spin will remain in the ground state. So you can see two possibilities are there which I have made here with the help of which we are getting the total spin of the system equal to 0. Next is doublet. In doublet case 2s plus 1 should be equal to 2 which means s should be equal to half. So there are two different possibilities. There should be one unpaired electron. Clear? So in this case one unpaired electron is present. It can be in the ground state itself or there is one more possibility. 
the two electrons are present. Let's say we are saying that there are three particles. Okay. And then you want to get the doublet. So two will be in the same state. Okay. The, with opposite spins. And their total spin will become zero for the ground state here. But for the first excited state. Okay. It is like up spin. And it is half. Done. So that's how you can consider the case. And this is also showing the case of doublet. Then, so I hope now singlet, doublet and triplet cases will be clear to you and you will have the idea that how you need to consider the spins, okay, in different cases. Now guys, next, in the upcoming videos, you will get the question which has been asked in December 2019. So based on this quick tips, uh, like the quick tips I have discussed in this video, based on these tips, we'll discuss the question in our upcoming video. So don't miss that and... If you are new on this channel, you can do one thing, you can subscribe the channel and after clicking on the subscribe button below this video, click on the bell icon as well to get the notifications for all the new upcoming videos I will provide you on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam. Along with all these information guys, I would like to tell you about the Unacademy plus subscription as well. So if you want to get the guidance by the top educators we are having on Unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation then you can also take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Also guys, by taking the Unacademy Plus subscription, you will be able to get so many benefits which will surely help you to take your preparation to the next level. And even in this time, if you will take the subscription, you will be able to prepare very well. And the like best preparation you can do in the remaining time will be possible for you to complete that. Okay, with the help of the important courses going on on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming exam preparation. So guys, when you will take the subscription, if you will use the referral code that is Anjali Arora and if you will apply it, then you will be able to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. Clear? So no space in between. Spelling should be same. Okay. And you just need to write Anjali Arora as the referral code and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy plus subscription amount. One more thing. When you will take the Unacademy plus subscription, you will get many benefits like weekly quizzes, talk clearing sessions, mock test, PDF of important notes and you will be able to get the guidance by the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming exam preparation. So which will help you to prepare very well for the upcoming exam even in less time. Also guys to take the subscription download the Unacademy learning app, log into the app, select your goal and after that just follow the further steps. Okay, click on three lines in, uh, present in the left hand side corner, then click on plus, then click on get subscription and follow the further steps. So that's how you can take the Unacademy plus subscription very easily. Thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end and keep on watching all of the videos I have provided you on this channel because all the videos will help you to prepare very well and to do the best preparation for the exam. Thank you.